Good morning. It is Saturday. Welcome to another week long vlog that'll probably turn into two half week vlogs. And it's forecast, no rain at all, which is why I need this umbrella for all the no rain that it's not doing. I'm just walking into town for a haircut because it needs doing and I want to be healthy. So having a walk, not driving, makes a change because I've been a bit lazy recently. So I need to start changing that before I put too much weight on again. Back at home now after having my hair cut, it's looking a bit better, a bit tidier, though my head was really cold on the walk home and it absolutely chucked it down. I, I was going to film on the way home but it was way too rainy, even with the umbrella up, I didn't want to risk getting the camera out, our new camera <laughs> in the rain. Stevie's at work for about another hour, then I'm going to go and pick her up and we're going to we'll have some lunch and then we're going to go to the cinema and watch Coco, which has only just come out in the UK. I think it came out in the US in like November or something. I don't I have no idea why the, there's such a gap between the release dates. Maybe it's just Disney scheduling here. They didn't want anything to clash with Star Wars in the UK. Although that makes no sense because obviously Coco and Star Wars kind of overlapped a little bit in the US. So who knows? If you know why Disney have only just released Coco in the UK, let us know. <laughs> I'd be quite interested to see what, what's going on with that scheduling. How good was Coco? It was so good. Yeah, Coco was really good. It's a really lovely film. A bit sad you did it again. Yeah, it's very emotional. <laughs> and Steve, Stevie was blubbing in the cinema full of kids. It was. I think we were the only people in there without kids. Well, I cried. Yeah, really enjoyed it. And Pixar pulling out another another great film. Thank you, Pixar. Really enjoyed watching your film. No. <laughs> no. It's a very distracting Hi. dog going on below the shot. So you, you, you can't see viewers. <laughs> hello. Are you going to say hello to everybody? Hi. What's happening, Poochie? You, it's very good that mummy and daddy are home, isn't it? Yeah, we're doing the max dance. It's the max dance. Wiggle that butt. Are you wiggling your butt? Everybody do the max. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're getting a bath tomorrow. Oh no, mummy's giving you a bath and a haircut. And a groom. Oh hello. What's happening, Paul? Is it snowing? It's Sunday morning now, and in case you can't tell, I switched over to the GoPro, mainly because I don't want to bring the G7X out in the snow, and it is snowing quite heavily, if you can't see. Stevie's going to groom Max in a bit, so we're going to get him nice and muddy first, so we'll, we'll feel the benefit when he gets all nice and clean in a bit. Here he is. What are you up to, Paul? Are you having fun? Don't chew that toy though. What do you think of the snow? Is it a bit rubbish? Come here. Give a give. In case you were wondering, yes I am still wearing shorts in the snow. It takes a lot for my legs to feel cold. And there's no point wearing long trousers when you're out walking max anyway because they're going to get covered in mud and then <laughs> you just end up having to wash your trousers every time you go out in them for more longer than five minutes. I didn't think this snow was going to stick but it's definitely trying its best. I think we should head home <laughs> before we get stuck out in the blizzard. Do I look like a yeti yet? I feel like a yeti. I'm cold enough to be one. Apart from my legs. As I say my legs don't very rarely feel the cold. It's very strange. It stopped snowing now. In about 10 minutes of us coming back in, it stopped snowing. Oh well, Max is upstairs in the bath now. So we'll go and see how Stevie's getting on, getting him all clean. Max looks like he's breath. He's very good in the bath though. You're a good lad, aren't you? Look at all that mud coming off you, Mr. Mucky Pants. You little face, oh dude. It's only the same as water when you're splashing about in a puddle outside. Wait, please. Do you not want to be clean? Little sponge. A good lad. Can I do it? A good lad. Let's see, mummy. A good lad. Getting all dry now. Getting there. A good lad. It's been very good. set the grooming table up in the middle of the room here and move the dining table out of the way just to keep it away from the wall because if he'd shook while it was all dry then we would have ended up with wet dog mud all over the wall. Starting getting him all nice and combed now. That's this thing that he's using at the moment. 
it's the cheek ferminator. Yeah, the fake ferminator. Yeah. With the all the fur coming off him. I would usually dry his ears, but he's really not a fan of his ears being blow dried. No. And while he's in the home environment, I'm just going to let them dry for a bit on their own before I throw it at it again. You're doing very well, aren't you? And you're doing well too. Look at that fluffy bum. Look at that fluffy butt. No. You're very adorable, Mr. Dartlin. Aren't you? He's an adorable boy. How less fluffy this side is compared to that side now. Yeah, this is what the Furminator's doing. It's like stripping all of that fluff off him. Yeah. Yeah, you can see all this, all this fluff on this side compared to the other side where Stevie's already used the Furminator thing. Well. <laughs> That's a nice burp, thank you. That's why he thinks of being groomed today. Yeah. Quite a bit of a burper, isn't he? Oh yeah, all the time. It's usually like he'll, he'll eat his food and then he'll come into the living room and then like put his face on us and then just go like burp. And then walk off. Yeah. <laughs> you got such wonderful manners, haven't you? Proper little gent. Take after your dad. I don't burp. And does this? I, I don't remember ever burping. Mm. I don't think I've ever burped in my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> Relaxing over here in the waiting room. And the, the groomer is busy, hard at work. She's tidying your bum up, mate. <laughs> I sit down, so you cannot. You can tidy my bum no more. Getting your belly trimmed now, mate, aren't you? Stevie's concentrating so we won't disturb her too much. Don't want to disturb a person with a pair of scissors near, mm. near your little fluffy son. It's very well behaved. So Just wants to know what's going on. <laughs> Mummy's doing a good job of you, isn't she? Not so much and Paul's nice and tidy too. How do you think he's looking on his body? Body's looking good, mate. It's a top bod, that mate, isn't it? Top bod. I'm gonna trim them ears and all. Hey. Yeah, do his face last. Yeah, could it meet you? We love your fluffy ears, but when they're this long, they're just dangling your water bowl when you're having a drink, don't they? And look dribbling soggy ears all over the house. Such a lovely boy. So much fluff coming off you. Hello. Good job I haven't vacuumed yet. Vacuum. I'd say vacuum because anyone outside the UK doesn't understand. Hoover. Hoover. Mm -hmm. Have you hoovered? Done one ear. They've got one ear longer than the other at the moment. Not very strange with one ear longer than the other. Look at these nice short ears now. Looking much tidier, aren't they, pal? Oh, they're much better. You're not beautiful, mate. I think you've done a real good job of him, hon. Shaved his bum a bit too short to put the wrong blade on. Isn't it? It's underneath his tail. No one can mm -hmm. see that bit. I meant to put a uh, five blade on the pot seven. Yeah. Got really short of bum though. I consider it's the first time you've done a full groom on Max and you've done a real good job. Nearly done now, pal. Can you see him be off that table again? Come on round like a bonkers. Uh, I, th I think we might need to, <laughs> to clean up. That's all your ears, that. Look at, look at all this. <laughs> all this was on you. Wasn't it? Do you feel better? You've just lost about half a stone, haven't you? <laughs> did you? Did you lose a few pounds there, pal? I don't know what's, I've never come across a bum quite like Max's bum. Like this, this spot on his bum here is really fluffy and I just, I don't know what to do with it. Oh, the dark fur yeah. on his bum. It's just how Max rolls with his bum spot. Alright, we'll get you down in a minute, probably. We've had enough now, haven't you? Yeah. Gotta do your chest and then we're all done. Nearly done, pal. Considering he's been on the table for a good while now, he's still been really well behaved. About just over two hours, you said, for me. I think it's about two hours in total since you first put him in the bath. Here he is, the man himself. Hello. 
Hello, Spud. You smell lovely now. Got your doggy perfume on, haven't you? Hi, beautiful. That's you. Or is it playtime now? <laughs> playtime now. You've been stood still for two hours. You got two hours worth of maxi energy to burn off now, haven't you? You're really awkward. You're sitting around this Yeah. Yeah, it's really well behaved. I'm really proud of you, pal. I'm really proud of you, mummy, for doing a good job of you. What a team. Hey, what a team. Ah. <laughs> ah. Dog attack. Dog attack. Smell awesome. ah, you smell lovely, mate. What are you up to? Mummy's starving. Yeah, we're very hungry now. Starving. We're not eating anything. I've had a cereal bar so far today. And it's like 1.40 in the afternoon now. Got loads of stuff to do. We've got see Stevie's family. I've got to go see my family. I'm going to have a shower. We've both got to have showers. Like, yeah? What's happening? What's going on, pal? Ah. <laughs> okay, at 2.30 in the afternoon, it's finally time to have some breakfast. I can't wait to eat this. We've actually got sausages this week and I didn't burst any of the yolks on the eggs. So I am once again the egg master. Let's go and eat it now. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching Max get his hair cut. It was really cute, I thought. Although he is my little fluffy son, so I always think he's really cute. But he's really well behaved. And I'm really proud of Stevie for doing her first full groom on Max. And I'm sure she'll make a great career of it in future. By the way, while we were filming this video, we went through 200 subscribers. So thank you very much to all of you who've subscribed to our channel. That's really awesome. We love all of you. We love interacting with you guys. So thank you so much once again. It's really great to think that there's over 200 people in the world that are interested to see what we get up to on our adventures. So keep subscribing. Those of you who are new, hello. We'll hopefully see you on lots more adventures in future. Talking of upcoming adventures, we're not too far away from the Alton Towers opening season now. And Alton Towers yesterday announced some interesting policies on their opening times for the upcoming season. It used to be that hotel guests, annual pass holders, and anyone who had pre-booked their tickets online got early ride time. So you were allowed into the park an hour before the official opening time to go on a selection of rides. That's changing for this season. The gates are now only going to open for Merlin annual pass holders, which does include us, to be fair. And hotel guests and it's only going to be for half an hour so from 9 30 before a, a main gate open of 10 a.m anyone who pre-books their tickets online and isn't an annual pass holder a merlin annual pass holder specifically not just an alton towers annual pass holder you won't be allowed in the park until 10 a.m during that half nine window the rides that will be open are the wicker man which is the new wooden roller coaster for this year which it's good that the new main attraction for this year is included in the ert Fair enough, that's good, but there's not much else open. So you've got a little bit of CBeebies land open and the Spinball Wizard coaster, which is probably the least popular roller coaster in the park. And to be honest, everyone's going to be in the Wicker Man queue. They, they know what they're doing. They're just going to drive volume into the Wicker Man queue, which is eh, not, not so good, really. So 10 o'clock, the main gate's open and the X Sector, which is where Oblivion and the Smiler are, that will open and the rest of CBeebies land, I believe, will open then. Once you get to 11 o'clock, you then have the Dark Forest, which is where Rita and 13, that will open, and Hex, and also Cloud Cuckoo Land, which is another little kids area around the back of the towers themselves. It's not until 12 o'clock that Forbidden Valley will open, which is where Nemesis and Galactica, formerly known as Air, are. So 12 o'clock before Nemesis opens, one of the, one of the best roller coasters in the world, is basically on part-time opening, which is crazy. It just seems really, really strange to me, especially if Alton Towers stick to the policy of last year closing on off-peak days at four o'clock, which means Nemesis and Galactica will be open for four hours a day, which is when people are paying the gate price now for anyone who's, to be honest, crazy enough to pay full gate price, it's 55 pounds for an adult now for four hours of Nemesis. It just seems, whoa, that's, that's a lot. And when you've got, fair enough, the Wicker Man is opening this year, it should be a fantastic new attraction. I really can't wait to ride it. Other places have got new rides coming too. Blackpool Pleasure Beach has invested a lot of money in Icon. And 
so far they haven't announced anything like these kind of cuts to their opening hours so Alton may be driving quite a lot of people f further north up the M6 and along the road to Blackpool. I just can't see people wanting to pay loads of money to go on Nemesis for four hours of the day. The optimist in me is, is hoping that we will see the park opening later but it wouldn't surprise me if Merlin decide I tell you what guys we're, we'll, we'll close even though we're only opening half the park at 12 o'clock we're gonna we're still gonna close up at four seems a bit a bit down really considering I mean we were so excited about the season and we still are excited about the new season to be fair I know I'm having a bit of a moan here but it's disappointing really to see the what is I still think is probably the best theme park in the UK being run into the ground a little bit you invest in a new roller coaster but then make cuts throughout the rest of the park which is a shame anyway don't know when on a downer <laughs> although I think I did a little bit but thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed my my thoughts there on Alton Towers if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to follow our adventures we'll see you guys soon bye